Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks, and uh, well, I was just looking at this new advert from H&M. I thought it was a good excuse to talk about a few things. H&M are a Swedish clothing company who make 24.8 billion a year, and because of that, they are super loaded, and they are part of the World Economic Forum, as you can see here. So anyway, this is an advert featuring this woman called Iris Apfel, who I've never heard of before, but apparently she is 100 years old, a fashion guru. So I looked her up. She's a Jewish New Yorker who's been in the business for over 70 years. And uh, strangely enough, she's worked for nine presidents. Yeah, Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, and the Clintons, working at the White House, restoring rooms and designing stuff, whatever it was. And she's also received two awards from the United Nations. And it didn't take long, it didn't take long before I found the obligatory peekaboo photos of her. I mean, come on, this is getting really tiresome with this one eye business. Anyway, here's the advert. Okay, so straight off the bat, we've got the one eye symbolism. The camera going through the one eye and these people falling out of the eye. And they sit at a one eye table. And there are six of these people. Surprise, surprise. Now this imagery here is, I believe, deliberately copied from the 1973 film The Holy Mountain by Alejandro Jodorowsky. And I looked up the film director, and again, here we go. Here we go again, these peekaboo images. Huh? Come on. It's boring now. Anyway, the film is a crazy, psychedelic, trippy film from 1973. And, well, I mean, I've, I've seen... Well, I haven't watched all of it. I've seen some of it. And there is certainly a lot to see in it, okay? But it's a, it's a series of disturbing images that have been described as a flood of sacrilegious images imagery and existential symbolism. Personally, I find the film soulless and ultimately depressing and dehumanizing. I'm sure there are people who will disagree, but there you go. And it has all the imagery you would associate with the Peekaboo Club in it. So yeah, this image is definitely copied from that movie. The key to great style is knowing who you are. So here is the 100 year old fashion guru appearing as if by magic floating in the air with the 666 hand signs on both hands, the meditation yoga pose, you know? These big companies are pushing the new age religion. And you know, you get these commentators, okay, who will tell you that this okay 666 symbol with the hand is just a yoga pose. People like this uh, deep divers guy, yeah? He'll tell you it's an empowering hand symbol which can help you manifest power in your life, yeah? That's why all the celebrities do it, yeah? And you should try it as well. This is what this guy says, yeah? Pull the other one, who are you trying to fool? Another example of this sign being used, and it's a real blatant one, is the rock band Ghost, okay? They are from Sweden as well, who are openly, openly Satanists, okay? It's not done as a joke or a PR thing. They are Satanists performing their song a couple of weeks ago on the Jimmy Kimmel show, where in the chorus of the song, they say the word Mephistopheles, which is another name for the devil. And every time the singer mentions the name in the chorus, he does the 666 hand symbol, yeah? Here. But don't worry, the Satanist is only, he's only doing it to manifest power, yeah? That's what the New Age commentators will have you believe, all right? It's rubbish. That's so true. Self-knowledge is the best accessory. I love your outfit. It totally makes your aura pop. <laughs> yeah, you look amazing. I can't really see you chuckle alive. So, yeah, again, you hear him talking about chakra aligning, new age religion, one eye symbolism, the new age movement. Yeah, the new age movement really kicked into gear in the 1960s, you know, around the, the hippie time. 
started by the Lucis Trust, okay? Originally called Lucifer Publishing, founded by Alice Bailey, who was a Freemason who was carrying the beacon for Helena Blavatsky. The Lucis Trust are the spiritual foundation of the United Nations and are in charge of their meditation room at the UN, which is dedicated to the God of many names. Okay, and you can guess who that is. And they have a network, the Lucis Trust, have a network around the world training people for new age discipleship called the New Group of World Servers. And they've been doing this for a long, long time. You should check out my videos, uh, Lucifer and the United Nations and One World Religion at HugoTalks.com to get a better idea of all of this. And so you know, uh, I think you're going to see much more of this New Age stuff in adverts and everywhere else in an attempt to warm people up for this One World Religion that they are planning to bring in with the New World Order. Look inside to look good on the outside. So yeah, this is now reminding me of the Big Brother show with all of this imagery of people jumping through eyes and going down some kind of hallway all lit up. A show, the Big Brother show, that was started to mind program the masses in order to get them used to being watched 24-7, to be under surveillance 24-7, to get you used to Big Brother watching you as you sleep. And what do we have now? We've got phones, we've got smart TVs monitoring you, tracking you, tracing, and looking at the plans they have uh, with these digital IDs and passports and social credit scores and cashless societies is going to ramp up. That's part of the new world order, a new world order based on control and surveillance. And check out, check out the rainbow floor here. Only when you dress like yourself are you free to think like yourself. We believe in you. Your energy is radiant. You, you found, found your inner, inner iris. iris. So there you go, new age talk. You found your inner self. We are living as one, experiencing the here and now. We all, we all have a divine spark within us. We're experiencing one consciousness as a cosmic whole. I'll just let, I'll let Russell Brand explain it to you. The distinctions between you and I, we know that they are an illusion. We share the same DNA. There are invisible energies that are tr passing between us. These invisible energies have to be harnessed and accessed because it's the only truth that matters. I think that there's an infinite creative force that generates all consciousness and all matter and we are all connected. And if you align yourself with this infinite creative force, then you can be positive and you can be beautiful. Yeah, you get the idea. That sort of talk where they say, let's start a commune and we shall all be as one, working together for the common good, which is a perfect setup for a communist Marxist system right there, a world economic forum type of system that will have you all tagged and told what to eat, how much energy you can use. It's for the common good. Take away your private property rights. It's for the common good. Tracking and tracing you with the digital IDs and the passports is for the common good. We are looking after you. It's for your own good. Basically having all power over you, over what doors you can open, yeah? Whether it be your front door, your car door, your supermarket, controlling access to your banks, every place, every event, even just walking down the street. It's about dehumanizing you and turning you into cattle. All right, and this talk, we are all one, and this new age religion is part of that. It also ties in with the climate change environment, worshiping the earth and all that gobbledygook. Everything about it, if you go back and you look into it over time, is deceptive, in my opinion. So yeah, that's my review of the H&M advert, something to talk about. Let us know what you think in the comments. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, a place for like-minded souls. And I'll see you later.